So Little Ray's is actually a nature center and we're based out of Ottawa. We traveled all the way here to the prairies and we are doing a venom exhibit. So it's an exhibit about venomous animals, um, what venom is, the difference between venom and poison, and uh, what people can expect with venomous animals. Usually my favorite reaction is when people are at first afraid of certain animals like a snake or a tarantula, but uh, my really favorite part is when people will overcome their fears when we explain to them that an animal may not be as dangerous or as scary as they think. So uh, we'll get them to come get over their fears and uh, it's always a really good feeling. They are very closely related to Komodo dragons, um, but they're not. They are Asian water monitors and uh, they are the second largest lizard in the world. Uh, they do have a venom, just like Komodo dragons. Um, it causes the blood to clot less easily and, uh, and causes infections and bleeding out and things like that. He's actually an albino, so normally in the wild they're more of a brown color to help them blend in, uh, but he's white because he was a former pet. And in the pet trade, it's often very desirable to have different colored um, specimens. Um, it increases the value. So he is also quite venomous. He has fangs at the front of his mouth. Um, and you can tell that he's a type of viper by the shape of their head. So, Little Ray's Nature Center were actually one of Canada, or one of North America's largest exotic animal rescues. So most of our animals were either former pets that people gave up, or pets that were seized illegally, and uh, we end up taking in a lot of animals that aren't cats or dogs, basically. So we have over 800 in our kitchen. 